Assalamualaikum and have a very good day to the panel. I'm Muhammad Zarif bin Yusri and I would like to present to you about my research which is post analysis of 2020 and 2021 of top 3 versus bottom 3 teams on attacking statistic. So let's go through the slide. First of all, football is a game played between two teams of 11 people where each team tries to win by kicking the ball into the other team's goal. In the same way that football games involve the movement of physical particles, mental events involve neutral activities. Feedback of the performance analysis is an important component of the coaching process and become information source of both players and coaches. So, the independent variable for this study is top three teams and bottom three teams, while for the dependent variable is attacking statistic. Now, we are going to move to the background of the study. The background of the study shows the explanation of dependent variables and independent variables. For independent variables, Kessel in 2019 stated that recent studies have found that successful teams use ball position to attack while unsuccessful teams tend to use position to avoid losing the ball. Next is dependent variable. Dependent variable consists of attacking statistics that have been elaborated by Lepshi, which is shooting accuracy was identified as the in-game action that best explains football performance, followed by other offensive variables such as the number of shots on the goal, the percentage of ball possession, and the rate of passing accuracy. We also can say that the team that give more attacking will have higher chances of winning. For the statement of problems, there are several problems that rel related to this study. Firstly, is lack of specific data. Most of the previous study only focuses on winning factors, which is only on the goal aspect. Besides that, there are no overall study about the performance indicator related with this study. Furthermore, official websites of the league is lack of overall statistics of the whole league for each team, which require researchers to sums of the attacking statistics for each team on each game. The objective of this research is to compare the attacking patterns of the top 3 and bottom 3 teams on Bundesliga 2020 and 2021. The significance of the study is it offers coaches an edge in making the best decisions and structuring the team's game plan for each game. Not only that, coaches and players strive to create and implement attacking plans that are more likely to result in a goal outcome in order to improve a team's attacking ability. With that, it will make coaches easier to analyze and manage their teams and improve all of the mistakes that the players always do. Not only that, not only that players also can increase the chemistry and intellectual during game day. For the top 3 teams and bottom 3 teams, we can say that each team's spots must have several teams including top teams and bottom teams. Top teams can be known as winning teams, while bottom teams is being called underdog team or loser team at the worst in scenario. Based on Lagos Balesteros and Lagos Pinas 2010, in a study of 380 matches in La Liga season 200, 2008 and 2009, it was found that top ranked teams scored more goals, shot more frequently, particularly on goal and need less opportunity than worst ranked teams. In the attacking statistic, we all already know that attacking statistic is an important aspect of winning the game without any exceptions of any sports. The greater the attacking of the team, the bigger the chances of winning. Lago Penas and Delal 2010s also stated in their studies that basic measures such as frequencies, proportions and other accumulated performance indicator of events Happening throughout a matches are commonly used in a team evaluation process, which means sport analyzer use the basic measure of the match to analyze the team's performance. 
The design of the research is quantitative, which is specific to correlational research design will be used in this study. This research design also requires a researcher to investigate the relationship between post analysis between top three and bottom three teams in Bundesliga 2020 and 2021. The population of this research is six clubs from Bundesliga because the independent variable only requires top three and bottom three teams, which is the total is six. But for the further information, there are 18 teams fighting in Bundesliga. Each team will play for 34, 34 matches in home and away. There are a total of 6 teams, so the total games that need to be analyzed is 204 games. The team that involved is FC Bayern Munchen, RB Leipzig, Borussia Dortmund, FC Kong, FC Werner Bremen, and FC Schalke. The instrumentation that being used is performance indicator, which is the first one is total shots. The second one is shots on target. The third one is total goals, the fourth is average goal, and the last but not least is shooting accuracy. Besides that, there are other instrumentation that being used such as Bundesliga official website, football critic website, and IBM SPSS. Bundesliga official website and football critic website provide data about the statistics of each game of the team involved, while IBM SPSS is needed to count and sum up the data that have been collected. The first procedure of the data collection is we need to have ethic approvals. After that, identify the performance indicator. The third step is collect data from Bundesliga official website and football critic website. And the last step is summarize the data using IBM SPSS to have an accurate collected data. For the data analysis, it is already stated that the independent variable is top 3 teams and bottom 3 teams, while the dependent variables is attacking statistic. The observation should be independent as both of top 3 and bottom 3 teams have different characteristics on each attacking statistic. Besides that, man with knee tests will be probably being used and the population is below than 30 but it may differ due to the data that will be collected at the end of the study. Microsoft Excel will also be used to make it easy to manage the data before inserting it in IBM SPSS. So, that's all from me for the presentation. I hope it will be helpful and I'm ready and glad to receive and answer questions from panel. Thank you. Stay safe and prevent the spreadness of COVID-19. Thank you.